So, you've just upgraded your iPad, but now you want your Minecraft worlds on that new iPad? We got you covered! Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, Chad Johnson. This is a show that'll teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today we have an email from John. John asks, uh, I have a son who's into Minecraft on his iPad 2 and he wants to upgrade to the iPad Air. But one of his main concerns is that he wants his Minecraft data slash worlds put onto the new iPad. Can you suggest to me what is the best way to do this, please? And thank you. Thanks so much uh, for answering, John. The thing is, is that there's no easy way to do this using just the Minecraft app on the iPad. I wish that there was a way to export to say something like Dropbox, but that just doesn't exist. So you are going to need to grab a computer, either a PC or a Mac. And the thing that I have found to be the easiest to pull this off is an application called iFunBox. It's for free and it works for both the PC and the Mac. I'm going to go ahead and show it off on the Mac. Now before I grab these save files, I just want to make sure that I do have some files. And I'm going to go ahead and just create a new one, and we can call this one something like, uh, I don't need this, or let's just say can't. Uh, oops, with a capital A, why not? Uh, can't, there we go. So I could delete this one if I wanted to, and we're just going to go ahead and generate it just so that it exists so you know that there are actually save files on this iPad. Now go ahead and grab your connector and connect it to your computer. So this is what iFunBox looks like. If you are on the PC side, you will need to download and install and run iTunes once before that you can use this. And also, your view on the PC will be called Classic. Uh, this is just the only view on the Mac side. So go ahead and choose the iPad that you want. Go into User Applications. And go ahead and find Minecraft. Once we dig into here, there's a whole bunch of files. The file structure that you're looking for is Documents, Games, uh, and then this is com and then Mojang. Uh, and then inside of here, there's two that start with Minecraft. If I switch views, it's easier to see Minecraft Worlds uh, versus uh, Minecraft Type. We're going to go into Minecraft Worlds. And these are the Minecraft Worlds that I have saved on my iPad, each of these folders. So you're going to want to back these up. And it's, it's pretty easy just to grab, grab this and either hit Copy to my Mac or um, uh, you know, drag and drop wherever you need. These are the backups that you want uh, when you're backing up your files. When you want to transfer a backed up save world to your iPad, you're going to want to find the same folder structure. Uh, when you first download the game of Minecraft onto a new iPad, this might not exist. So the easiest thing to do is create a dummy world, and then it will make all those files for you so that you can easily drop your old backup into the same place on your new iPad. Uh, and I really, really do love iFunBox because you don't need to jailbreak your iPad, you don't need to do anything, it's not weird and hacky. So I hope that this answers your question, John, and enjoy that new iPad Air. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe at twit.tv slash OMG Craft, and you can find uh, our show notes so that you can download iFunBox at omgcraft.com. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye!